Everyday Alchemy. starting to look up. The cycle of self-awareness is never ending, so don't worry, relax, don't rush. Becoming whole hasn't been easy, no one ever said it would be. What other choice was there? Would you have made one anyway? Now that you can see it, the past for what it was, your hero's journey, your story so far. There is a place left open for place 16. However, there are no images, no symbols, no descriptions available. This is the pleroma, the blank state of potential. White pages of paper waiting for you to write down your story in darkness colored ink. After all, who could fully embody all that is, was, and ever will be? The universe isn't just watching, it's willing. We are all instruments of infinite creation. Spring arose from the school of hermetic alchemical art in the 17th century. The manuscript itself dates from 1599. Lamspring himself along with the full origin story remain a mystery today. I guess it just goes to show the myth will always outlive the man. Aside from being German, little is known of Lamspring. This was often the case with the alchemists and mystics of old. The alchemists set out to reveal the truth of their techniques and methodologies through the use of metaphor and symbolism. Their true identities were often concealed in order to escape charges of heresy. The plates Lambspring left correlate to the psychological states of awareness and experience during therapy. The symbolic images used in these plates actively influence our subconscious imaginations. Simply through visual contact with the images, they can stimulate the psychological process they represent. What is considered meaningful or applicable depend on what archetype is most strongly activated in one's psyche. Carl Jung termed this symbol-forming power of the psyche the transcendent function. The purpose of the function is to mediate between that which is unknown and that which is manifest. This is achieved by creating unifying symbols from pairs of opposite polarities. Finding harmony and balance between black and white, right and wrong, by synthesizing opposites into a symbol, the transcendent function creates a method of transitioning from one attitude to another. The path of individuation is to uncover these transpersonal meanings within each symbol, whether they are found in our dreams, behavior patterns, or daily life. Once a symbol is fully understood, another symbol appears to take its place, reflecting a new situation. This transcendent function is usually embodied in the image of one's own guardian angel, inner guide, or guru. Throughout the entire process of inner transformation, Images of self appear spontaneously and change shape symbolically. At the beginning of the process of everyday alchemy, they appear in animal forms. Snakes, birds, fish, horses, cats and dogs. It also presents itself in the images of plants, trees, flowers, natural beauty and wonders. Things that haven't been painted by human traits and characteristics. Eventually, the eagles will land, the storms will calm, the sun will shine and we will understand these anima, animus, archetypal symbols leading to the personification of your higher self in a human image. Meditation and creative imagination are the only invitations needed for individuation. All it takes is our awareness, our attention, our energy. 
The signs and symbols are all around you. You just need to take a step in any direction with the right intention. You can start with a journal. Write out your name and birthday. Find out the true meaning of your name. Everything is fractal, meaningful. Nothing is a coincidence, not even you. Next, learn your life path number and astrological sign. Start keeping track of the truth of who you are, who you are meant to be, your design destiny. Then, like all good reporters, you must ask yourself the five W's of journalism. Who are you? What is your current situation or path in life? Where are you on the path to becoming whole, to manifesting your destiny? When have you been victorious and defeated in life? Finally, ending with why you are here. Surely you could have given up by now. Most do, or don't even start in the first place. Who could blame them? Ignorance truly is bliss, but bliss is just a prison. A comfortable cage that will slowly kill our connection to creation. And just as the alchemists discovered their own life mirrored in that of their alchemical experiments, we will all be baptized, purified, separated and solidified. No alchemist is born. We're made like a diamond. The pressure we all feel only makes us stronger. The more a man can take, the more precious he will become. Once the process is complete, the key to becoming valuable and eternal is measured by your clarity, transparency to yourself, to others, and to God. Uncover your wholeness. Remember your oneness. Discover the divine inside. Know thyself so you can finally love thyself. Everyday Alchemy. Thank you.